to start and come back to here maybe. Nice and soft. Down to the back of the head. Waving down a little bit. Seriously, what the fuck is this? What even is this? Alright guys, welcome to a new video. I... I literally, I just don't know how much further the human race can fall. I, I seriously don't fucking know. Now, today's video is once again about Twitch. Now, we know that Twitch's decision-making isn't the best. It's like sort of comparable to the decision making of a fucking toddler that's drunk on crack and has been hit in the head repeatedly with a frying pan. It's about on par with that level of decision making. But this surprised even me, their latest fucking decision. So they have just hired someone who is, I don't know how to say, it's like a deer person. They think that they're a deer. And they even go as far to eat fucking grass and hop around in their garden like a fucking deer. So, and eat grass so they can feel more like a fucking deer. Um, so in my, in my spare time, I go out to my yard. In my spare time, I go out to my yard and I, and I prance around and I, and I eat grass. And I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I do my best. I do my best to be. What the actual fuck? I'm sorry, but look at this. Look at it. What's nice about forest creatures is that they'll, they'll sort of give you feedback on your scratches. And they're pretty sensitive to scritches. So scritches in different areas get different reactions from forest creatures. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. This is the actions of, at the very least, a fucking oddball, right? And that's me being fucking generous. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, yeah? But I kind of believe that Maybe if someone is telling you that they think they're a deer, or they're a deer person, they need to be sectioned. Where does the line fucking... where do we draw the line? In fact, a few years back, if someone started eating grass and hopping around in their fucking backyard like a deer, they probably would be sectioned, but now... We're supposed to... this is normal, right? And don't get me wrong, right? I'm not like some intolerable fucking asshole, and I'm sure some of you are like, Oh, you sound like it! No. Like, I... I'm got no issue with uh, gender, race, um, whether you're gay, straight, whatever. But if you're going around saying that you're a fucking deer, there is something mentally wrong with you. And that's fucking simple. And it's also something mentally wrong with a company that would hire someone that thinks they're a fucking deer to represent them. It just makes no fucking sense. Because like I said, where do you draw the line? It's going to get to the stage where we let everyone out of fucking, like, um any kind of mental, like, uh, institution, and go, do you know what, there's no such thing as mental people anymore. They're all sane. It's us. We were just being, um, intolerable. It's like, oh, look at this woman over here. She stuck a budgie up her ass because Jesus told her to. We thought she was mental. No. Turns out, we're just a bunch of cunts. Let's let them out. It's just, uh, there has to be a fucking line. And being a deer person has to be on that side of the line. Well, where, I mean, where does it start? Is it, oh no, you think you're a deer person? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, also, um, I like to uh, fucking bring a deer into my house and eat dinner with my deer. And Oh, okay, so you like to eat with deers, bring them to your house. That's fine as well. Um, oh, also, I like to fuck the deer. What? It is, what? I'm not saying that's what she does, but I'm saying, where do we draw the line? Do we go, oh, that's fine, you can fuck a deer next? Where do we say, you're mental now? Or do we not? That's what I mean. Is it like, it just, it's just fucking absolutely ridiculous. So Twitch tweeted this out. Anyway, we're taking a big step forward for community safety. A big step for, 
how is it a step forward? Meet the new Twitch Safety Advisory Council. Made up of Twitch creators and online safety experts, the council will advise us on policy updates, new products, healthy streaming habits. Healthy streaming habits? What? Pretending you're a fucking deer? How's that healthy? And more. That's absolutely insane. I would rather you hired an actual fucking deer. That would be, like, less insane than this. This person thinking that they're a fucking deer. I... I literally, I can't even get my head around it. I mean, I don't have... I don't hold Twitch and their decision-making in a very high regard anyway. But this is even fucked up for them. Well, no, I just... I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that... I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel. Which is Just a fact of how you feel. I'm not being funny, but you also feel sometimes like you're a fucking deer. I don't understand. You're coming out. To... First of all, I know this is only a little thing, but the way you said, um, you gamers. You gamers. Some of you gamers. Well, are you not a gamer too? Remember when Twitch used to be a gaming platform? And here you are saying you gamers, like it's some sort of derogatory term. Maybe that's just me nitpicking, but I don't know. That's just, but obviously Twitch is so much more than gaming. There's the just thotting section now and whatever. So whatever. And obviously now there's this, I don't know what it is, deer porn or whatever the fuck content this person produces. I don't fucking know. But to come out and say, I think that a lot of gamers are white supremacists and Twitch are like having this person as a representative for gamers. And this is what this person's opinion of gamers are. This makes no logical fucking sense. I keep saying this person, this deer. That's what this deer's opinion of gamers are. Now, of course, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and in a world where, at the minute, being a straight white male means that my opinion is less valid than everyone else's, you don't listen to me because I'm a straight white male. Straight white men are evil. Anything they say is evil, right? That's what society wants to have you believe now. But I will be damned if the, we're going to sit here and say that my opinion's wrong because I'm a straight white male. But we can listen to the person that thinks they're a fucking deer. Their opinion is more valid than mine and they hop around their back garden and eat grass. And they're now being put in a position where they have a say in how Twitch is run. That is completely fucking mental. And it doesn't even stop there. The only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to have is 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 to not have voice chat, to not have people give up their linguistic profiles. I mean, and maybe you maybe you think you know if if you are a competitive gamer, which a lot of people have been like, Steph, you're not. A, you don't. You clearly know nothing about competitive play. Well, competition, by the way, y'all, competition requires you to get every advantage possible to become one the top 0.01% in any video game you have to you have to get squeeze every amount of, of advantage you can possibly get voice chat is unfair period i do find it both hilarious and predictable that this dear person has an issue with competitive uh, voice chat and competitive games I, I just think that's, yeah, I saw that coming a mile off. And I find it's funny because, like, it's competitive. I mean, you even say, unless I'm misunderstanding, which, you know, I don't speak dear, so there's every chance that this could be me misunderstanding. In this very clip that I just played, you say, in competitive gaming, you need every kind of advantage you can have. And then you say, voice chat is unfair. Well, is it not just an advantage? It's no different from like a boxing match or a UFC match where, you know, in the press conferences where the two fighters will try and psych each other out, they'll talk shit to each other and stuff. Or is that, does that need to be banned too? It's just absolute bullshit, isn't it? It's like pussification of everything. Now, what's funny is that she actually, on this whole uh, voice chat thing, obviously she got backlash on Twitter because there's a lot of gamers that don't agree with this. And she tweeted this. Ooh, yeah, a whole lot of people with cis white male voices thinking voice chat is critical to competitive games being competitive. Tell me more about how we'll solve systematic misogyny and everything will be fine. Laugh out loud. I just, yeah, it's about the level of response I would uh, expect. Again, cis white male voices, what the fuck? 
I mean, I'm not being funny. Like I've said before, who's like because they're cis white male, their opinions are not valid. All typical, the cis white males have a an issue with us getting rid of a uh, voice chat potentially. Of course they do, but who cares? Who gives a shit? They're cis white males. Fuck them. Listen to me, the person that thinks they're a deer. I'm not being funny. Whose opinion? Would, should you like trust my it's just absolutely fucking moronic right let's just a random scenario right let's say you have a bomb strapped to you and the time is going down you're going to blow up there's two wires you've got to cut one person walks up to you and they're a cis white male right and they say to you cut the blue wire the bomb will stop and then a dear person comes up to you and says don't listen to them they're a cis white uh, fucking male cut the red wire Whose opinion are you likely to trust more? The straight white male or the deer person? You just fucking out here. Don't listen to them, they're straight white male. I'm not being funny, you're in your back garden eating grass. So let's not listen to you about who we should listen to, yeah? Fuck's sake. Now, it's worth noting in that hypothetical bomb situation, there's no way you could actually win. Because if you listen to the straight white male and you cut the wire and you didn't blow up, You'd get shit because you didn't listen to the deer person. Oh, look at you, treating the deer person differently. You should have cut the wire, they said. Yeah, but I would have been blown up. Yeah, but at least you wouldn't have been listening to the straight white male, you cock. Literally, you couldn't win. Anyway, uh, just like bullshit. But look, to, to sum up, basically, what I'm trying to get at here is that there, there's a lot of tick boxes going on here. Now, is she, is she the deer, the right person for the job? No. Twitch... Originally, I know it's not much now, is a gaming platform, right? It still supposedly is, and soft porn and whatever. But gaming, right? Is this person that thinks a lot of gamers are white supremacists and wants to get rid of voice chat and competitive games the right person to represent a platform that is supposed to be about streaming games? No, they're not. They're not the right person for the job, and it's just there to tick boxes. To go, oh, look at us, we've hired a transgender deer person. Oh, we're so accepting of all walks of life. As well, you should be. You should be. If someone's transgender, then that shouldn't be an issue if they're the right person for the job. If someone's gay, it shouldn't be the right uh, an issue. Skin colour, everything. None of that should be an issue. What is an issue is if someone thinks they're a fucking deer. This person is not the right person for the job. There's, there's absolutely got to be like so many people that would be more qualified for this position, yet you've chose this person. Because, oh, look at us, the, this person eats grass and thinks they're a deer, and we've given them a job. Try that shit anywhere else. Can you imagine going down to fucking, like, I don't know, Greg's or something, and you get served by a deer person, giving you a sausage roll while they're chewing on fucking grass? Fuck off. I, I, anywhere else, no one would hire you for being a deer person. That's literally why you've been hired, is because you're a deer person. And you're a bit weird. It's, like I said, where do you draw the line? I mean, like I said before, it would... A few years back, someone acting like this, they probably would be sectioned because he'd be like, yeah, see old old John over there, he thinks he's a fucking um, cow. Yeah, look at him, he's trying to milk himself. Oh, what the fuck, let's get him sectioned. Now, old John, sitting there milking himself. Oh, leave him alone, he's not hurting anyone just because he thinks he's a cow. In fact, let's give him a job at Twitch. Fuck off. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Anyway, guys, that's about all I wanted to say. Um... As always, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion. Thank you very much for watching. i just let you guys know that um, I am now, as of Monday, officially going to be back at my uh, full-time job. Uh, my lockdown is now over, so the uploads aren't going to be as frequent as they have been. I'm going to try and be more frequent than they were before, but it won't be anywhere near as like what I have been doing the last two months. Uh, so, yeah, if you see less uploads for me, that's why. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Every